A healthy garden is buzzing with them. Busily going about their work, undaunted by the fact that the whole system rests on their shoulders. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we give credit where credit is due. And today, we're talking about pollinators. More specifically, the importance of them. I've got three reasons that we need pollinators in our garden. Time short as always, so let's get into it. Pollinators are simply animals that move pollen from the male parts of the flower, the anther, to the female part of the flower, the stigma. They come in many shapes and sizes, with the most recognizable one being bees. But what makes pollinators so important? Why do we care about them? Well, for one, without the pollination and fertilization of our crop's flowers, many of them would just not produce. Yes, some crops can actually self-pollinate, like these tomatoes here, while others have their pollination aided by wind and gravity, such as my corn. But a lot of our crops cannot do it by themselves. Of the roughly 1,400 food crop plants grown worldwide, 80% of them require pollination. No pollinators, no food. Another benefit of pollinators is in making viable seed. Even in crops where we're not harvesting the fruit of a flower, such as these green onions here, we still need pollinators to get proper and viable seed. If you're going through the process of saving your own seeds, like I do every year, pollinators are simply invaluable. And lastly, we need pollinators for the entire ecosystem, both inside our garden and out. The world's flowering and seed producing plants rely on this pollination cycle to maintain the genetic and biodiversity that we don't often think of. The way that it's evolved and set itself up, the planet's terrestrial ecosystems as we know it simply wouldn't survive without these pollinators. Know what else is needed to survive? More episodes of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.